we're going to talk first about Simon Property Group. So that one is the world's largest REIT. It comes out of Indianapolis in Indiana, and it is a company which has lots and lots of retail malls. We're going to talk market cap here. Where's that number? Let it see where it comes up here in this $54 studio. $54 billion. $54 billion <laughs> worth of market cap. Uh, I think the yield on this thing is about 4.2%, which is pretty good because yeah. that's above what you'll get on U.S. Yes, treasuries yes. by quite a nice margin. Share price might as well come up while we're getting going because you'll see that it has had a little bit of a slide in recent times, but it's been a good, strong performer over five years. So tell us about this one and why you think it's a go-to. Yes, I mean, if you, if you look at the company going back to, say, 15 years ago, the company's share price has increased from about 20 bucks to, to, to where it is right now. Yeah. You know, you really have done well. And I think uh, if you just look at the U.S. economy, it's doing well. That's a story that doesn't need to be retold. Mm -hmm. And if you've listened to um, our friend Donald Trump talking about tax cuts there. He's not my friend. <laughs> he's your friend. Okay. You know, <laughs> look, I mean, he's, uh, he's everybody's friend. If the markets are riding like this, you know, <laughs> he hasn't given us yeah. a bear market. So we love him for that. So if you look at uh, the fact that he's thinking about cutting taxes for both corporates and uh, for, for normal citizens, those will, in my view, it will increase spending capacity in the USA. It will help companies probably uh, start employing even more people. With even if he doesn't achieve any yes. of that, it's better to be having a Congress which is discussing tax cuts when yeah. maybe like struggling to get them through than yes. it is to be talking about a Congress which is raising taxes. Absolutely. And talking about new ways of chowing the money. Most definitely. I mean, in the Simon Property Group is also, uh, um, they have about five other malls outside of the USA. They're in Canada, they're in Japan, they're in Italy, and uh, you know I think they, it's, it's, it's nicely diversified. What about the concern that um, retail is going increasingly online and that quite a few of the retail type store footprints are being shrunk? I've seen articles suggesting that that space is now being used up by restaurants and that you shouldn't be worried. Do you think the malls will still feature as big in the life of the sort of consumer in years Say in to come? Say 30 to 50 years from now. I mean, mm. look, I think, I think that transition is definitely prevalent. It's a good point you make, Paul. Um, people are now buying stuff online, mm. but the experience of going out to a shopping center, the experience of eating out, yeah. and you're finding that most of, in most of these big malls, uh, you're starting to see that the food, food companies are starting to be the anchor tenants in some yeah. of these areas. Interesting. Entertainment is becoming uh, an anchor tenant. You're seeing more pop-up shops in the global malls. You know, and I think that's uh, a trend that someone property group has actually been monitoring. Yeah. They didn't get to be the biggest rate in the country from not being smart about what they do. Their CEO has done well, been, uh, you know, awarded our best CEO in America by so the Harvard Review. So the CEO is David Simon. Yes. It was established by his father and his uncle. Melvin and Herbert Simon. Yes. Do they still have control of the entity? I'd be surprised with the, a 50 billion No, look, I mean, no, I mean, obviously they've been diluted down, but I think... Strong uh, enough to still yes, retain strong the enough corner to still, office. Absolutely. <laughs> so they still have uh, the key decision making there with their, yeah. their shareholding in the entity. But uh, I think it's a good story, really. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it just and of course, a company this large with these assets, which manages everything internally, has access basically to as much capital as they want. Most definitely. If they wanted to go out and buy and merge and acquire globally and or merge with other groups. And in fact, they have done that a lot. They've yes. acquired a lot of businesses over the years. Definitely. And that's yeah. why they are, they, are, they are $54 billion in market cap. Okay. So you're hot on this one. You reckon I it's a buy? It. I love it. It's a buy. Okay, I buy your argument about the global economy, in particular the U.S. economy. So I'm going to yes. tip it and say hot on that one yeah. as well. And a great yield compared to what you Most get from U.S. Treasuries. Most definitely, U.S. bond yields are not doing great. Even, you know, kind of the U.S. Treasuries for a 10-year starts at like a two-point-something yield. Yes. It goes up a bit if you're prepared to take longer duration. But yeah. in fact, I would rather own this. This is a live, breathing corporation. Yes, and in the right places, and the uh, all property fundamentals in place, high-quality shopping centers. Mm. So you can't, you can't fold them.